Hi, I'm Nala Ruiz, and I'm the CEO of WUFO Internet Radio. Keep it real, keep it real. What? Keep it real. Yep. I'm originally uh, from Chicago, born and raised on the south side of Chicago, Illinois. After leaving Chicago, after I got out of high school, I went into the Navy, which took me to Groton, Connecticut, also known as Rotten Groton, on the submarine base. Um, was there for a couple of years, and then I went to uh, Virginia. I went to Norfolk, Virginia, where there's another, um, actually the largest military navy, naval base. Um, got married, um, went to Florida, had a couple of children, and then ended up coming back to Charlotte. So that's how I got here. Whenever I was a guest host on the show, um, the show actually got canceled. <laughs> and whenever that got canceled, I kind of knew a little bit or was introduced a little bit to how it worked, how internet radio worked. But um, I wanted to take it a step further. I felt like it would be a great, um, a great tool, a great way to get information out, music out. It was fun, um, and so I did it. Um, to start up, not very expensive. I say anywhere between seven and ten thousand, depending on how um, how elegant, I guess, if you will, you want to go with your equipment you know, how elegant you want to go with that. Um, you definitely need to have li licensing money. Um, and then depending on how you're going to stream your music, you have to have money on a monthly basis uh, to pay for that because that is a, a cost. But that's just kind of um, the so dictates, but that price is dictated um, on your audience. You can do this type of thing from home and it doesn't really have to be businessy. Um, but I didn't want that. I wanted the right to play music. I didn't want to just be pirating music, so don't be out there stealing music. Um, but I wanted the right to play um, copywritten music because I knew I didn't just want solely independent music. And without the right to play music and the licensing, the ASCAP license, the BMI license, without having those things in place, um, you don't have the right to play music. I didn't want to do it out of my home because I would want to have guests. I would want to have other DJs. I want to have other VJs. Um, so I looked into getting a space uh, to rent from. I looked into um, the materials needed, the equipment that would be needed. Um, and basically what I did was I linked up with a DJ friend um, and my web person who actually put everything together. And uh, we figured out how much it would cost to actually rent the, uh, excuse me, buy the equipment. And then uh, my overhead on a monthly basis. I um, mean, we put all of that kind of stuff together, my licensing, my business licensing. Um, just kind of getting the business end of it uh, wrapped up on that end, and we did it. Thank you, um, everybody, for coming out um, to the 2011 launch of WUFO Internet Radio. And I, Isha, and me, myself, chill well. You're listening to the show Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. WUFO, the morning show. Fun and laughs. Fun, laughing, yeah. high energy, um, <laughs> constant motion. Everything's just Appreciate all that. over the place. Organized chaos is what I like to call it. Next up is our afternoon show, Speaking Out. Now, after we've delivered, you know, all of that energy for our morning show, we kind of level things off and we kind of get down to business. Charlotte just spent a whopping $350,000 to the young lady that was um, involved in the sexual case with the uh, Charlotte police officer. We talk about social issues, economic issues, um, health issues, political issues, all those things that people really, really need to know about. Not only do we talk about them, but we also provide you with solutions. That's for real. It's the launch, y'all. We'll Let's be right go. back. And then finally, we wrap up with the launch. That's our evening show that we have specifically aimed at independent artists to give them a platform every single day in which to have their music heard. Working mother, Aaron Brockovich. <laughs>
So introduce me to this young man. This is her son. This is my baby, my six month old, my youngest. And um, this is my little bundle of joy. Now your other sons are, and their names? Um, Sean and uh, Duke. Okay. They're and they uh, 12 are and 11. 12. With me uh, not originally being from Charlotte, um, I don't have any immediate family here. Um, and not to say that there wouldn't be great caretakers here. I just don't choose to use a caretaker. I just don't choose to do that. And so I, I literally do. I bring my, my children to all of my events. I bring my children to work. Um, and actually one of my, my, my sons, uh, my 11 year old son, um, he was homeschooled for a time. So um, I actually brought him to work and kind of trained him up on the family business. You know, this is the legacy that I'm gonna leave to my children. Give me the mic. <laughs> My measure of success is when I'm able to help others reach their goals because as I'm pushing them up and helping them reach their goals, I'm reaching mine as well because I can't push them up if I'm not right there with them. I care about what happens and the results of um, people dealing with me. I care about my advertisers. I care about the artists that come through. I care about the people that work for me. I care about these people and I want them to know that. Mm -hmm.